started right after the exams because I applied to my foundation a week after my results. I didn't even wait till I got my results. Options after her uh, all levels and how old are you now? Uh, I'm 18. She's just 18, right? So when you reach 18, she's ending uh, her teenage next year, right? And she would have done uh, moved herself into some other uh, uh, options as well. Right? When I get to know some of the students when they start off with uh, some new courses, all levels, A levels, and love affairs as well. Mm. Right? That's all an option, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> After what else? I started my foundation in engineering in engineering and then the plan was to after finishing foundation to go abroad but because of COVID-19 it didn't happen and then somehow I started my degree here. I started the bachelor's degree in mechatronics and I'm also doing a bachelor's degree in software engineering and so right now I'm completing both, both those degrees and so while doing it I started some other extracurricular activities like uh, I'm a member in the Jaya Toastmasters Club uh, so after about being a member for six months, I was able to become the Vice President of Public Relations at <laughs> So I was appointed that role recently. Within a very short period, huh? she became the Vice President. Huh? Yeah. So one cannot easily achieve that. She's attracting, attracting so many people as well. And she, when she was heard by one uh, veteran uh, speaker, Faisal Bond, so he's inviting her to become one of the... Uh, his students as well, it's a very rare opportunity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so now I'm doing the my, doing my role as most masters and uh, last week I also started this uh, course where I can tutor uh, maths for British kids. British kids, did you get that? She has started teaching British kids. Do you think that it's an easy task? Right. They have their native accents, their native accent, you have to cope up with, you have to adjust yourself what they speak, you will not be able to easily understand. So she she did not uh, get easily chosen uh, by the panel, right? So she had to go through some of the rounds of interviews, am I right? Yeah, there yeah. were five rounds to pass the interviews. Like so, How did you do that? Uh, so, there are, so right now I've already passed four rounds. So the first round was a maths exam, you have to do that. And then there's a phone interview where they call you over the phone and do like a small interview. And then there's a teaching demo. So in the demo, you have to, they give around, they give like three lessons for you to teach. And you have to teach it at that moment in the teaching demo. And then there's a, a two week training program. You have to pass that. And then finally you get to become a mathematics tutor for British kids. Uh, so currently I'm also doing that. And yeah, I think I was able to do all of these in a very short period of time. Because right after Oliver's, I started working on my career. I had a direct goal. So I always knew like uh, what degree to do, what job I should apply to, what internships I should do. So if you start like, even now you can start you can building up your CV, you can start doing extracurricular things that, that's more focused on the, path of, on the path that you will be going in the future. So even after you finish Oliver's, you don't stay like a year, or do to start what you want to do, start it right after the exams because I applied for my foundation a week after my O levels. I didn't even wait till I got my results. So don't wait, just start what you want to do at that moment and I think you can easily build a good career off of it. Yeah, fantastic.